is going on guys this is the Mafi Garage here and today I'm going to make a video on my Sarah and today's topic video is five things I dislike about my my Toyota Sarah I'm not talking about the Toyota Sarah in general I'm talking about my Toyota Sarah so um, I've been driving this car for about half a year now and there's a couple of things that I found on this car that kind of you know set me off one of them is the windows the windows they're nice but there was some days it's still kind of cold outside it's still winter time i mean a couple days it's gonna be a couple days until it turns spring but the windows when i when it was some nice weather and it's like baking inside the car i put down the windows and the air doesn't really directly go into the driver or passenger's face it just kind of like streamlines the other way in order for you to get air you got to put like your hand out the window and kind of guide it into your face so uh that's uh the first thing so the second thing is going inside the car when you go inside the car there's one thing as a as a person that's six foot two um i kind of wish that the steering wheel can be tilted up and down there's no uh, adjustments for it so it's basically in a fixed position now I, I can still drive it fine but there's some cases where like my leg it's kind of difficult to get out the car sometimes like with my leg so I had to find a maneuver where it's like you get to slide your leg under like a certain way I just wish that there was like a little uh, adjustment where you get to put it up and down I don't really care about telescopic I just wish it can go up and down so that was for the second one now for number three, um, it's basically, this is my, um, my dislike of it is when I'm sitting, I feel as if I'm not sitting straight. Um, so right now I have the camera straight, but when I'm sitting, I feel as if I'm sitting like this, like pointing that direction and I have to like adjust my back to where I got to point this way. I don't know if that's just how my seat is or if that's how the Sarah's are I remember seeing on Facebook where someone was complaining about the seating position how it was facing this way and I thought I was the only one until I read his post I forgot what was his name but uh I just remembered that and I was like that is funny because I kind of feel as if I'm sitting like they're facing that way and I always have to like readjust myself a couple times like I have to get out of the seat and like position myself a different way to like sit straight Now the next thing I dislike about my Sarah is when I'm driving, the window seals, I don't know if just mine are worn out or if just that's how it is with every Sarah, but when I'm driving, I'll post a clip after this, uh, when I'm driving, it's a lot of wind buffeting coming through the car and I feel as if that's the seals, but I don't know if I can find a seal, but I I'm not too sure. Um, as I'm driving, it just over 50 miles an hour starts, like the wind starts buffeting inside the car, and it, it's just like it's it's not that big of a deal. But when I took this on some road trips, it kind of you know uh, you know gets to you a little bit, just just a little bit. You know, it's nothing major, but that that's one of my dislikes. I'm trying to find some dislikes, but that that's one of them. Alright guys, so I am going 60 miles an hour, 62 miles, 100 kilometers an hour, and you can hear the wind noise. It's buffeting in here. It's a whirlwind, oh my god, oh! Nah, I'm just joking, but you see, it's like, the faster you go, the more wind noise it makes. So, um, yeah, that's, that's one of the dislikes from my uh, part. And last but not least, this is one that kind of gets to me. Um, I kind of remedied the situation, but it's still there. Uh, and one of the situations is kind of on my end too, where I do have to fix it. But I think in general, even if I fix that, it, it will still be an issue. So what I'm about to say is um, when it rains not just any type of rain, like a downpour rain, the whole entire car gets fogged up. Like the side windows, the roof, 
the rear window. Now, what I mean by the pro- one of the problems is my, on, on me is the rear defroster doesn't work on my car. Um, I'm not too sure if it's the switch. The switch lights up. I, I talked to Andrew on Facebook, and he said it could be the rear wires that connect to the hatch. So I'll show you guys right now. Put the hatch up for you guys. So it's one of these wiring harnesses right here. I believe that's what he said that they get corroded and they have to be resoldered. This is coming off a little bit due to my uh, me checking it out. But um, he's saying that these tend to get corroded, so I would have to resolder them, take out the old solder and resolder them, or I can take out the old solder and put electric. Uh, conductive glue I believe it's called and that will uh, make it conduct again as soon as you press the switch but that's my main issue is um, is when it rains that it just it gets so foggy and I remember letting one of my buddies drive my car for the first time and lo and behold a monsoon came out of nowhere a monsoon it was just a crazy downpour and the poor guy was his first time you know driving on the right hand side stick shift well he drove on the right hand side but it's been years since he has been driving and he kept on mistaking the wipers with the turn signals and and it was getting really foggy in there since it was two people when there's two, two when there's two or more people it gets even worse in there so um luckily the front windshield was okay but it, it was just really really difficult for him to drive and and for me too you know because sometimes you um you miss you know you can't really see the lines on the road or it's just see, hard to see your blind spots like your side view mirrors are basically pointless once they get all foggy but yeah guys um i know it's i know it's like oh well those are not big problems uh you know i don't i don't really have a problem with this car it's just everyone's gonna have issues with their cars and and these are my particular uh issues that i have with the car i don't necessarily hate it but uh, I, I just dislike it, you know, um, and everyone, not every car is perfect, not everyone is perfect, so you're going to have to dislike something on something you actually love, so I just wanted to make this video in case someone's looking for a Sarah and they're like wondering, oh, well, what's there to dislike about this car? Well, there's some stuff that you might dislike about the car, so I hope you guys found this informative. And if you guys did, I mean, I hope you guys share it with somebody that's actually in the market with, uh, for it. And I hope you guys take it easy.